We brought up Tommy Dreamer, and he's getting killed everywhere. I'm sure you've yeah. seen it. And yeah. I'm sure you know exactly well, why, because he deserves cause he didn't it. Say this, he didn't say this 20 years ago. He said it like last month or whenever they taped it. Tommy Dreamer, I guess it's an attempt to defend Ric Flair and this sort of wrestling culture of trashing the ECW hotel in the air, basically. What did you think of Tommy Dreamer? Obviously, since this aired, he has been suspended from Impact Wrestling, where he had a backstage role and I think an on-air role. He's also been removed from the satellite radio show that apparently he was either a co-host of or a part of. I'm not exactly sure. What are your thoughts on Tommy Dreamer and the fallout from his comments in Dark Side of the Ring? Well, that's what I couldn't understand. And I mentioned to Evan, it seemed like it was it was a personal thing with him where he was just, you know, antagonized toward this woman. Um, and like maybe, maybe she didn't, you know, bring the service cart by and give him peanuts or whatever, but he was he couldn't have possibly seen her statements or know how well she would come off he hadn't seen you know they don't show you the other people's interviews when you're talking but it the juxtaposition of those was especially bad for tommy because here's this nice woman and then he insinuates that she took a payoff to shut up and she should have prosecuted this horrible person that was a bad attitude to have not just flippant but you know aggressive toward this woman that by that point everybody in in the viewing audience liked and felt sorry for. I will say one thing, and you mentioned this, if she had problems with her marriage, I'm sorry, but that means her husband's a dick. Because if you went home, honey, this fucking drunk wrestler showed me a schlong in the galley today. Well, what did you do to cause it? What the fuck? I agree with you. No, I'm, I'm not justifying yeah. his jackass <laughs> no, behavior. So I think he may have been an asshole also, but she was a nice woman. But anyway, with Dreamer... Yeah, I can see if you tried to convey the fact that everybody that knows Flair would would probably say, no, he didn't have any ill intent and ignorance of the law is no excuse or whatever, but he wasn't trying to to harm someone. He just didn't get it. That's the, you know, that's the thing there. But so he was trying to say that in some kind of way. But he turned around and just buried himself and said, well, everybody gets offended these days. Well, people are going to be offended with my hair. Well, you know, that may be because it's rotten looking head of hair, but that had nothing to do nothing. with what the fuck they were talking about. And to, I, to think that everybody would get offended at this because all of these assholes acted up and, and flares, you know, flinging the hammer around. It was just, it was flippant and it made, it made wrestlers and wrestling look worse that, that you wouldn't have a guy out there saying, well, you know, goddamn guys in football teams do a lot of shit in the locker room that they shouldn't be doing in the lobby of the fucking Holiday Inn Express. And, you know, just explain these guys just were out of control and they, you know, shouldn't have been doing this, but they're good people. I know them. They wouldn't harm anybody on purpose, that type of thing. He's just going, well, fuck this girl. You know, I, I don't know why he did that. You know, I always heard him say something like he wanted to die on camera, or die in the ring. Well, here he died on camera. <laughs> this was the end of Tommy Dreamer in wrestling. But he didn't, he didn't get to shoot Paul E first. What woman is ever going to want to work with him in wrestling again with those stupid views he had and the smug way he delivered it? I am so proud that I've always called him an idiot on this show from the very beginning. Always hated him as a wrestler, horrible promo, brain dead behind the scenes, and look at these comments here. It's time for Tommy Dreamer to go away, but I felt this years ago just based I, on his work. I, I gotta be honest with you, I've never had an argument with Tommy, and he's always, I would have thought he was a more reasonable, level-headed person than that the person that said those things that surprised me i was like what is this a is he going for something here and then i was like oh shit this is just maybe he's having a bad day and then it went all the way to oh boy i got he daughters just said that shit no man i got daughters and when i saw that flight attendant all i'm thinking is what if that was one of my daughters i'd want to murder this well person. if that was one of your daughters you'd be 75 years old but you get my point though and he, yeah. you know he's in the same boat i think he has daughters how could you have that point of view I don't know. It's just, 
There's a certain anger towards women that some people have that I just don't get. And that's just his views on there, his comments, that he was stupid enough to make them in front of a camera, <laughs> let alone stupid enough to have them in his stupid head. Stupid. I don't think we need Tommy Dreamer around anymore. Oh, come on now. What does he contribute to wrestling that's positive? Well, give me a few minutes. Exactly. Well, anyway, I'll tell you, you know, Brian, are you getting a proper night's sleep? You've been cranky the past. I have years. been. And you know what? I haven't had enough coffee today, and I think the sleep is the issue. No, no, no. You know what? You've had way too much coffee in your life. You need to get off of that coffee. If you want to sleep good, you're going in the wrong direction drinking that coffee. Even the decaf, that's just, that's just, you're just polluting your intestines and your internal organs, my boy. What you need, if you want to have a good night's sleep and keep yourself healthy and refreshed and energetic, you need the Beam Dream Powder. That's the direction you need to be going in. You need to be going down, not up. Folks, if you want to have a great night's sleep, whether you're on an airplane, a cruise liner, a motorcycle, don't take this stuff if you're driving the motorcycle. A motorcycle? Well, what if, wherever you want to sleep. No one's hey, sleeping on a motorcycle. You know, hey, who am I to tell people where they're allowed to sleep? Just as long as you're not operating any heavy machinery or construction equipment, folks. When it comes to recovery, performance, immunity, and feeling less stressed, sleep is everything. And now we found the answer to better sleep in a delicious, healthy cup of cocoa. The Dream CBD powder from the folks at Beam is changing the way that people sleep across America. Some people have never slept before. They take this, they go to sleep instantly. With Dream Powder, <laughs> you're getting more than just quality shut-eye. You're providing your body with the sleepy vitamins and minerals, magnesium, reishi, iathenine, and the nano CBD. Dream is essentially a guilt-free, sleep-inducing, warm cup of organic, say it with me, folks, cacao, and organic cinnamon without any calories or added sugar. And also, they give you this beautiful mixing cup and this little spinny thing. I don't know what you call it, but it it, it whips up your... <laughs> your. Well, it spins around and, and agitates. It a agitates. frother. A frother. A frother or a fluffer. They send you a fluffer. <laughs> no, they do not. Yes, they do. She came right to the door. <laughs> oh, my God. And handed me the package <laughs> where there was... The, the 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 fluffer in the package with the beam the dream powder and the beam cup and there's a cup that says beam on it and you put the powder in there and you put the water in there and you fluff it up with the frother and you drink it Stacy is drinking this stuff morning noon and night she never wakes up anymore but folks there is proof in the powder we've talked about it <laughs> you won't wake up you won't wake up at all no after no you will you will wake up yes you will eventually <laughs> eventually it's going to wear off oh no after taking <laughs> after taking dream 99 percent of people feel an improvement in the quality of their sleep 97 percent felt more energized the next day and as soon as stace wakes up i'll ask her how she's doing but if you want better oh. sleep and better days delivered every month subscribe to dream for awesome perks like free delivery and 35 percent off your first month plus you can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. Subscribe today. Save 35% by going to Beam. That's B-E-A-M-T-L-C dot com. Beam TLC dot com slash J-C-E. Or go to Beam TLC dot com. Use the code J-C-E at checkout. I'm not sure what the difference is, but you'll find out. Folks, you'll have sweet dreams with the folks at Beam and their cacao. That's right. When are the sponsors going to learn to stop sending you copy with statistics in it? It always goes off the rails. I love a good statistic. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied by the statisfications. <laughs> anyway. It's good to know.